Attention tonight on the president's health. Dr. Nahid Bedalia is from Boston University School of Medicine and the Boston Medical Center, director of the Special Pathogens, Pathogens Unit there, and NBC News medical contributor. Uh, Dr. Dr. Bedalia, there, there's still a lot uh, uh, that we don't know about the president's health. What, what does today's discharge suggest to you? Good evening, Shep. I think you've heard over the weekend that for a majority of us who have been taking care of COVID patients, the initiation of steroids generally implies that someone is at least moderately to severely ill with COVID-19. And, and so the way that I'm envisioning this is this is a person who is a patient who's elderly, who has a couple of medical comorbidities, or at least you know the being overweight, and, and has received experimental drugs along with steroids that imply that he's sick enough. And, and maybe we don't understand. Of course, none of us know what the inside of his care looks like. But today, this transfer to me, as Dr. Conley said, is not a patient being discharged from the hospital. He's getting discharged to go to another medical supervisory unit. He's going to the White House exactly. where there is that support. And the kind of things that they will be doing for the rest of his week, there are a few things that they're they're looking at, right? One is the fact that he'll need to continue to have blood work because he's getting these experimental. He got the experimental therapy uh, Regeneron last Friday. He's continuing to get remdesivir. They will continue to watch him clinically. And if they should need so, they have imaging there. The other is... CDC says, you know, and what we know from studies is that a person who's infected is generally infectious or contagious to others within the first 10 days of their illness um, after they've stopped having their fever, you know, 24 hours after they've stopped having their fever, but at least 10 days from the onset of symptoms, which is which means the president is currently contagious. And what I would see is that the White House is probably preparing to create that infection control protocols to ensure that he can continue his work or be in his residence without potentially infecting others around him. It really was a relief to hear the doctors say that he's improved. And I tell you, you watched him walk up those stairs there. You know, he's not a brand new guy. And that appeared almost, you know, that, that appeared fairly effortless. But we've, we've all sort of studied this enough now to where we all understand when you're older, it's harder. And when you have comorbidities, which he does, that makes it more complicated. And we also know that six, eight, ten days in, some patients, not all, but some patients get a lot worse and it can happen really fast. Are you concerned there? Yeah, and I would say the fact that they started him on steroids. So what's driving that second kick of this disease is that this virus, you know, does the damage that it does. And then it elicits your immune system to have this response that's overactive, which then damages your system itself. And that span of the immune inflammatory response can continue for a while. So I would say the start of the steroids implies that they were already worried about that. And so they're watching him closely for that. And that's one of the things that they'll be watching on his blood. It is heartening to see him walk, you know, to, to be able to do this. It, it, I hope it means that he has, uh, a, he has received the care, the best care possible in the world, I would imagine. And he is feeling better. You know, the, the, the part that I, I want to ensure, because I think his tweet, um, sort of is harmful in the way that by, by putting on what potentially looks like this orchestrated move from one hospital to another medical unit, it makes people feel like this is not a, such a serious disease. And as someone who's taking care of patients with COVID, I could tell you this is anything from the truth. There are people who, when they get hospitalized, have pretty severe courses. Doctor, can't thank you enough. Speak to you again soon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.